Hi, my name is Wan Sing. I'm 26 this year and I'm currently working as a pastry chef. I do calligraphy as well and sometimes I go for recreational cheerleading. Give us a fun fact about yourself. Um, I have a very long tongue, so my tongue can actually touch the tip of my nose. How many relationships have you been in? Mm, I've been in one relationship. Um, it was for six years. So it didn't work out because of uh, personality differences. Yeah, and different goals in life. Some of my relationship deal breakers are smoking. Yeah, because I'm not a smoker myself, so I hope for my partner to not be a smoker as well. I hope to find someone who has the same like level of qualification as me, because I think that way we have more common topics to talk about. Yeah, and we are on a more like uh, similar frequency as well. And someone who is taller than me, which is not difficult because I'm really short. How short are you? I am 148. Ready? Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow, I'm scared I'm not into something. Is it correct? Okay, my name is John. I'm 28 this year. And I work for TSL, so I'm a creative. But uh, training department soon, so uh, like, share and subscribe. Fun fact, uh, I've climbed 30 plus mountains in my life. And I would like to keep doing it until I cannot walk. I would say in my free time, I've got two extremes. Uh. So I'm either like super homebody and nerdy playing games and like making full use of my Netflix subscription. If not, I'll be out taking photos or like adventuring. Uh. So how many past relationships have you been in? So past relationship is the kind of Facebook status can change, right? Ah, okay, so two lah. One in JC, one in 2017. <laughs> I think at JC one, we were all both quite young and uh, unsure. So normal first relationship didn't really end well. Uh, sad to say we're not really friends now, so yeah. Second one is because I think we were in different phases in life. So she was still uh, studying for the bar exam, but I was like hustling. Yeah, yeah it just cracked. <laughs> Could you please uh, list down your relationship deal breakers? So for me, right, I think one of my deal breakers is that if you're not game to try new things, being willing to participate at least, right, even if it's uncomfortable for you for activities with me, is very, very important to me. Uh. So for me, because like I crack a lot of jokes, as you all will know. Uh, so like, what I mean by a sense of humour is that you must be able to give and take jokes. Uh. It's not like very hard to maintain conversation. Basically, you guys will turn around to reveal each other and you have five minutes to speak. And guys can turn around in three, two, one. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? I'm Wan Sing. Wan Sing, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got you something. So I got you a flower. <gasps> and it matches your, your oh, outfit. Sound it's... No, it's a Jibera. It's a Jibera. Thank you. So what do you do? I'm currently working as a pastry chef. I don't know anything about pastry, right? but like what kind of pastries do you make? At the place I'm working at, mm. we do plated desserts. Okay, so is it like the like you know you see those videos very satisfying when you pour the pour the thing then you're the spin. glaze, huh? Ah, then very shiny. Yeah, stuff like that. How do you even get into that? It's been my childhood ambition to be a pastry chef, so I just pursued it lah. Oh man, okay. Yeah, he tried to know more of what I was doing, like even though he's very unfamiliar with like my line of work and stuff lah. Yeah, which is nice. So what what do you do? Okay, I'm a creative for the Smart Local. So I, oh, okay. I shoot photos, I take videos, and sometimes okay. occasionally appear in front of camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's my main role. Interesting. Okay, I'm very curious. Are you more of a, a homebody or outdoor person? Homebody. Homebody. Mm. Uh, what do you usually do at home? Do you like Netflix or do you like Netflix, know, read books? Um, I bake. I do calligraphy. <laughs> you, wait, as in like modern calligraphy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like pointed pen? Yeah. Like, uh, copper. Oh, you actually know. Yeah, I do. Me. I do calligraphy too. That's crazy. I do brush Are and you pointed pen. Yes. Initially, when I met her, honestly, I was a little bit nervous because after all, this is the first time I've done this kind of thing, right? Like, even though she's not the most chatty, right, she warmed up really quickly because we had a few common interests like calligraphy and stuff like that. And I think that was very good because, like, it sort of set up our future conversations throughout the day. Yeah, so that's good. Why would you be doing calligraphy? No, like, because like, I just like all then like on my on my dad's birthday I wrote him oh a thing. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It was getting too nerdy, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a set of clues and you guys will have five minutes to discuss where do you think we are going for food and activity. First clue, right? Clue number one is uh fine. Okay. Item number two is bread. Am I going to learn to be I'm a I'm thinking so? like a picnic. In botanic gardens, maybe. Item number three is something that I'm very, very, very familiar with. And that's a carabiner. 
useful for securing water bottles to your bags and uh, securing humans to ropes. I'm thinking rock climbing. Yeah, right. I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking excited for that. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the date? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you guys can go. Okay, let's go. This season, we asked contestants to list five of their own deal breakers when it comes to relationships. They don't know which deal breaker is being challenged on this episode, and they will not be allowed to mention any of the deal breakers on the date. For John and Wan Singh, the deal breaker being challenged is Wan Singh's deal breaker education level. With that said, let's see how the date goes. Let's go. After you. Thank you. Let's try the one that I cannot pronounce. Pros prosciutto. Prosciutto. What's a baby chino? It sounds so it's cute. It's a mini cappuccino. Like honestly, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not know anything. I know kopi o kosong, okay. <laughs> okay, so this more activity I have for y'all is a wind rudder. It's for my own ID. Wow, quite hard eh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Sashimi okay. or sushi? Sashimi. I don't really fancy the rice in sushi ah. actually. Then you will peel. Oh my yeah. god, <laughs> Next is give up the TV, of course. We've got Spotify Premium, which I have very cheapskately shared with six random people. <laughs> I don't have. You I don't just have. use the free one. Okay. So I'm even more cheaper than you. <laughs> no, that's okay. I cannot stand the ads because after a while, right? The ads keep repeating. Why is your which organ? Because if I sell one of my organs, then mm. at least I get like money. But if I sell my possessions, then I have nothing. But you sell all already, right? Then you got money, buy back. Oh, the right. Reason. Yeah, you see? <laughs> I just thought about it because like like I want to like declutter oh, yeah. my life also, right? Successfully so sweet. I, <laughs> I, I think I will change my choice. Yeah, right. <laughs> This is like coffee. Okay, but I quite like it. You want to try mine? Yeah, not bad. The aftertaste is very nice. Not bad, right? Mm. I have the toasted flavor. Yeah, this one's the hardest one for me. Marry someone you don't love, right? Yeah. Because at least there is still love, right? <laughs> at least, like, someone I might that. grow to love a oh. person. So, this is like oh. still within my control. Makes a lot more sense than what I will tell you. Okay. But like, I feel like when someone doesn't love me, right, I catch on that vibe very fast. Uh -huh. And then it will like make me miserable. <laughs> I think actually the Would You Rather activity, right? It was quite fun. La. You know, the questions were quite interesting. It got us like thinking a little bit. Would you rather set the table or clean up? I love cleaning up. Really? <laughs> like the... Yeah, like it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, toasties. Shall we get one each? Yes. I promise I did wash my hands. <laughs> A pet peeve of mine uh, mm -hmm. is that I don't like to get my hands dirty. So you love it bronze unless someone shells it for you? Or oh, I will use my fork and spoon and fumble with it <laughs> instead of some table judge me. Actually honestly the food is not bad. Maybe I don't know chef, like what do you think? Cauliflowers like mashed into it. Mm. During a meal, I would say it was kinda okay. I did learn a new new word from, from her. Prosciutto. 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 Yeah. Pro Prosciutto, if that's correct. If I'm wrong, uh, please uh, flame me in the comments. <laughs> but like, other than that, you know, it was fun. It was quite pleasant. The cafe has a little like shop there. And then that's when I knew that, eh, actually he does like have an interest towards like handmade stuff. Yeah, which I think is very rare for, for guys to have. <laughs> yeah, so we, we got to know each other a lot more. We actually talk about a lot of things like uh, our preferences for paper and stuff like that, very nerdy stuff. And then after that, we start talking a little bit about family. Yeah, I realised that actually a lot of the stuff that we talk about, right, is like, don't know why a little bit still off camera. Yeah, you just happen to go there for one hour and not tell any of us lah. Yeah! <laughs> we just got lost in the moment a little bit and then we just like, hey, this thing, oh, it's Yeah, man! <laughs> We're going to Carabiner <laughs> Place in sports attire. My guess is still rock climbing thing. Oh, maybe it's an obstacle course. Ah, high oh. elements. Actually, I'm a bit low key scared of heights. Oh, really? You have to like, you can do it, John, and go. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like we're in Taiwan. Oh, Gee, yeah, I wonder I... what that is. <laughs> we yes. saw Forest Adventure, so I'm guessing we're going to the forest for an adventure. Yep.
what must I do? Uh? Jump. Over. Yeah, jump to the net. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is higher than I thought. <laughs> uh, it'll be over soon. <laughs> It just felt very scary standing at the top, but John was very encouraging. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, good, good, good. The jumping off was very scary. It felt like a roller coaster. John, how are you finished? <sighs> Low key worried, but. Ah, yeah, can la, can la. You can do it! <laughs> be a Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> I'm glad I'm inspiring the kids below to want to do this. Hey, it's damn fun, it's damn fun! <laughs> chayo, you, chayo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I doing a one big step, one air. big step. Nice, good job. Luckily, you got your uh. cheer flexibility. Right. <laughs> so, for this Halo Reese Crossing, is that how you pronounce it? But okay, it's a mini challenge. I'm going to time to see who is the fastest. <laughs> ah. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Acrobatics! <laughs> Okay, done. Yeah. Yay! One minute, five seconds! Wow! Time starts now! Okay. Oh my god! Woohoo! He's doing well, eh? Yeah, not bad. I think he'll beat my timing. <laughs> John, do you think he'll beat her timing? I don't know, I'm very focused on running right now. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> oh, yay! I was climbing into a headwind, now, so it's pushing me backwards. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the next obstacle course yeah. and tell me how you feel about it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Wow, yeah. she's fearless, eh? A bit like Ting Ting Tian Sui, right? <laughs> I feel like it's an illusion, right? That it doesn't sway under her legs. But, like, when my fat ass steps on it, it's gonna be like. <laughs> how does it not sway? <laughs> you must hold on to the. Okay. Rope. <laughs> Especially in the centre, right? Well, wow, it starts to really like... <laughs> the obstacle course was challenging. Easier than it looks, actually. I was surprised that I could actually manoeuvre the course. Through her cheerleader training and stuff, she's like really good at it. Like balancing on like, high elements and stuff. Like... Toot, toot, toot. Oh, this is so fun. It's like rowing a sampan. No! Too heavy! Okay. I'm so fat! <laughs> oh my god, I had too nice much sandwiches. Job. She really make it look effortless. I don't know how. <laughs> Whoa! My god! I'm <laughs> gonna try to be helpful by pressing it down. Hopefully my weight makes it easier and not harder. I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready to see the greatest show, man? Confirm. <laughs> wow, I didn't, I didn't worry. Ah! It's so wobbly! Oh my god. Try and have like two feet on the same lock. Okay, okay, I try. Oh my it's god, more yeah. Stable. Yeah. I'm doing a, I mean, okay. I split. High Elements was a, was a good challenge. Very fun in the way that I enjoy. And I'm glad that like she enjoyed it as well. I think it's nice to see John conquering his fear also. Because <laughs> he mentioned he had like a slight fear of heights. Yeah, but it's good that he managed to go through each element very smoothly. Hmm. It's the final element. <laughs> Stay strong, believe in yourself. Thank you. Study hard, quite gao zhang da. Go, go, go! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Yay! Oh. <laughs> How was the whole experience? Well, honestly, it was very fun. Yeah. And challenging. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the view was even better. Like. Correct. I think she's more adventurous than me when it comes to this kind of high elements thing, right? She just goes like, la, 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 la. And then I'm just there like, ho, ho, ho. Still got one mega split, which uh, I believe the camera got. But you did well. La. Good job. Thank you. Nice. I think the most memorable part was he was very attentive. Like when I couldn't get the safety device off, he was very patient. La. Which is really nice. My favourite part about the date is that like we vibe well with each other. It's not easy to find a person uh, who is into the nerdy interests that I'm into. Actually, I would say one of the funnier parts right, was watching Leia do the Sika after we were done. If I tell you, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She's very funny, she's talking to herself. <laughs> well, well, Nothing, well, I say well, you got this. We say you got this. <laughs> and we talked about it and we kind of laughed a bit at your expense, but it was funny. Thanks. Do you think your deal breaker was challenged on this date? Uh, no. Yes. So I'm going to pass you a whiteboard and mm -hmm. please write down if you go on a second date with this person. You ready? <laughs> so excited. Oh my god, that's just. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So I ask you guys if you go on a second date with the person in front of you and you know your answers down, right? Yes. So as you know, a deal breaker was challenged on this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So on this episode, the deal breaker that was challenged is actually... What oh, is stress <laughs> It's actually education level uh. and it's one since deal breaker. Educational qualification was one of my deal breakers. Because <laughs> like, mm. I feel like, like both parties have yeah. similar education background. I think like conversation topics would flow better. Barely answer. <laughs> yeah. I am a uni dropout. By year three, my grandfather passed away. From four grandparents left three, right? And I have achieved nothing. So I decided to leave what was wasting my parents' money and like mm-hmm. sort of holding me back and to pursue my passion, which is creative work, like, wow. full time. So. Interesting. I didn't know that. Like, <laughs> ooh. Okay, so now knowing the deal, what the deal breaker is, right? Mm. Okay, please write down on the whiteboard if you'll go on a second date with the person. Are we as well? <laughs> Why is this so stressful? Eh? This is more stressful than I thought it would be. Okay, one thing, whatever you're ready, let's go. Okay. Okay, here's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, my answer is so we could get to know each other better. Mm. And after that, my answer is still a yes. Lah. I didn't think that was a deal breaker actually. I thought it was like something to do with smoking. Oh. Or... <laughs> I got smoker yeah. face. Yeah. Okay. We actually had quite a similar frequency, I would say. And we had like common topics to talk about also. Lah. So yeah, lo. he didn't play a very vital role. I honestly didn't know what deal breaker was being tested. But I kind of had an idea <laughs> when I when I think about myself. Really? Yeah. So okay, okay my answer is yes. Like oh. I think we vibe quite well, I mentioned. And like mm. we have a lot of common interests and like I enjoy a lot. Like like enjoy talking to you a lot. Mm. So that's fun. You know, I would like to get to know you better. Mm. Yay! <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. But like after talking to her, I realised that you know actually she's like even though she's not the most chatty, right, she's actually very easy to talk to. I think he's very he looks out for people lah. The conversation just float and uh, we got to know each other a lot more. I think deal breakers are important in a relationship for you to set boundaries on what you can accept and what you cannot accept. But I think beyond that, you should also like look at it objectively because you know everyone has a story to tell, ma. I think having deal breakers is fine, but I think it is not fine when you pass judgment on people immediately based on what you perceive of them.